friends, welcome to My Mat My World. Please join me for chair yoga. We will be standing in balancing today. So if you would, come to the side of your chair. And let's start with the tree pose first. So if you like, put one hand on. If you want to take your hand off, definitely do that. But root your bottom foot and bring the, uh, the foot that you're going to bring up can either be a kickstand at the calf or it can be up in the inner thigh. Your choice. But don't put that heel on your knee, okay? So whenever you're ready, remove the hands from the chair or maybe just keep one finger on. Your choice. And if you like, bringing the hands to heart center or maybe just one hand to heart center. Or maybe you want to play with your leaves on your tree just a little bit. Holding that balance and releasing the arms, releasing that foot. Inhaling all the way up, turn and face your chair. Exhale to the heart center and bring the tailbone back. So you should be able to see your toes. Coming into chair pose, and then placing the hands on the chair. If you like, take the left foot up, or take the foot up that was your up foot on your tree pose. I should have specified left, rights, whatever. So once again, a balanced pose, this is a lever pose. If you like, take one hand off the chair, and it doesn't matter which one, I have opposition going on right here. Breathing through that balance pose. And releasing, bringing the feet about hip width apart, rolling up, and shoulder rolls. And when you're ready, reverse those shoulder rolls. And let's do the other foot. So I'm going to stay on the same side of the chair. So this is my right foot coming up this time. When you find your focus with your eyes, away from your body, maybe a point on the floor, maybe a point across on the wall, taking the arms up if you feel like it. Bringing them to the heart center. And breathe. When you're here, you feel all the little muscles all the way around your foot moving and the ankle. As we rest our foot against the calf, we feel the calf engaging as well. And the instructor taps down and releasing the pose, facing the chair once again. Inhale all the way up. Bringing the hands to heart center, sit back, glutes come back, placing the hands wherever you feel is right for you. This is chair pose. And maybe your chair pose isn't sunk down. Maybe yours needs to be up here. That's okay. Releasing the hands to the chair, this time taking the other foot up for lever pose. Finding your bearings right here. Finding your balance, and if you like, raising one arm off the seat of the chair. And breathe, inhaling and exhaling. So we feel the foot engaging, the ankle engaging, the calf, the knee in this balance pose. And release. Rolling it up, shoulder rolls, and reverse. When you're ready, coming to the side. Like I said, lots of balances today. Open up for starfish. If you like, take your hand off the chair or maybe leave one finger down. It's amazing. 
what your brain thinks, if it thinks one finger's down, that maybe your whole hand is holding you up. You feel the hips on this one, both sides. Finding your focus across the room or toward the floor, five or six feet from your body. Release, keeping that foot up, bringing it into tree pose. Getting a little tired here. And release, facing your chair, inhale up. And exhale, chair pose, scoot the glutes back. You can see your toes. You're not necessarily looking at your toes. You're looking at your chair. Continue to breathe. And bring the hands to the chair, raising the foot that was just up. It was my left. I put on two different socks so you could see which was my right and my left. Sometimes when I have on black pants, it's hard to tell which leg is up. If you like, opposite hand moves up and breathe. And releasing the pose, coming up, rolling up, shoulder rolls, and reverse. And coming to the side of the chair. Now you may need to change sides. I'm not going to. I'm going to try to do it this way with my starfish pose. And I can always hook my foot under here for a little bit of, bit of balance as well. So your choice. Finding that focal point with the eyes. And breathe. Usually I start you out with a little inhale and exhale, but we just jumped right in today. And keeping that foot up and moving to tree pose, wherever you're comfortable with your tree pose. chair. Inhale up. Exhale chair. And breathe. We're trying to keep the chest open here so we're not like this in our chair pose. We're up, we're open, and sometimes it helps to pull the hands back to get that chest open a little bit more, making our back flatter and straighter. Releasing the hands. This time the other foot moves up. Finding your stability and your balance and then raising the opposite hand, if you like. Finding your breath. Inhale, exhale. And releasing the pose, softening the knees, rolling it up, shoulder rolls, and reverse. Great job. Facing your chair. Inhale all the way up. Wait a second. Let me move this to the end. Inhale all the way up. We're facing the chair. Exhale, chair. Inhale up, bring it to heart center, stepping the left foot back for lunge, bring the fingertips to the sky for crescent, bringing the hands to the heart center if you need to, tap down on the chair, 
pop the back foot in just a little bit. My left foot is moving forward. I'm turning my toe out about 45 degrees. My knee is still over the ankle in the front. And instead of opening my hips, I'm going to push them forward, bringing the fingertips up for warrior one. Keep breathing. When you're ready, hands move to the chair and bring the back foot up. Another lever pose. If you're feeling um, really balanced, you can bring both hands up. Release the back foot back. Finding lunge again. Fingertips up if you like for crescent. And bringing one hand down to the chair and straightening your front leg, pushing forward and finding this big pyramid stretch. Continue to breathe. You can have a soft bend in both those knees if that's what's comfortable. I do not recommend locking any joints. When you're ready, soften that knee, stepping up, rolling it up, and shoulder rolls. So while you are shoulder rolling, I'm moving my chair so we can do the other side. And reverse, if I didn't tell you that already. Inhale up. Exhale, chair. Inhale up. Exhale, heart center. This time, step the other foot back. So for me, that's my right foot. Coming into a lunge. Fingertips moving out. My hips are forward. And always, you can always keep your balance by placing one hand on the chair. When you're ready, we are stepping the back foot up a little bit turning the toe out 45 degrees. Knee is over the ankle in the front. My hips are not going to be open. I'm turning them to face my chair. Bring the fingertips up for warrior one. Release the hands to the chair and find lever pose or warrior three. If you like, take both hands off the chair. If not, one hand, maybe. And breathe. My bottom leg has a little soft knee. I am not locked out on that bottom leg. Release the hands. Let that foot step back for a lunge. And then straighten that leg, coming down to the pyramid. My toes are pointed the same direction. And if you have the flexibility, you can take your hands all the way to the floor. I do have a little soft bend in the knee in the front. And release, coming up, rolling up, shoulder rolls, and reverse. When you're ready, we are going the other direction. So, we'll go through that again a little bit faster without so many breaths. I mean, I don't want you to hold your breath, but inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, chair. Inhale up. Exhale, heart center. Step the left foot back. Find the lunge. Fingertips up, and release, heart center, step the back foot in, just a little, finding warrior one, hips are forward, hands to the chair, finding warrior three, or lever pose, hands coming down, step the foot back for lunge, Straighten your front leg for pyramid. 
and stepping to the top, rolling it up, and shoulder rolls. As we do our shoulder rolls, reverse, move to the other side of your chair. Inhaling up, exhale, chair. Inhale up, exhale, heart center. This time the right foot steps back, find a lunge. Raise those fingertips for a crescent. Step the back foot in just a little bit, finding warrior one. Point those hips toward the chair, bringing the hands up, looking toward the top of the wall. Bringing the hands to the chair, lift the back leg. Releasing the foot, finding a lunge. And pyramid, straightening your front leg. Toes are pointed the same direction. And release, stepping up, rolling up, shoulder rolls, and reverse. When you are ready, find a seat. With one knee pointed toward me, the other foot's going to move out. And you can take the toe and point it toward that wall, or you can do a warrior foot where it's pointed toward the front, just like this knee. Open it up, looking toward your long arm, long leg. Anyway, this side. I guess both arms are long, aren't they? And then drop that hand down, looking toward the sky if you can. So big stretch right here and kind of an intense crunch right here. And release, we are moving the other direction. So just rest your elbow on that leg and a slight lean toward the other side. Releasing the pose. Dropping the hands down towards your bent knee. Relax the shoulders. When you're ready, we're coming halfway up. And you can rest um, your forearm right here. And just let your arm circle. And reverse. and releasing the pose, bringing the fingertips to the sky. And release out to the side, looking toward that long leg again. And release. We are moving the other way. One foot down the mat, the other points toward me. When you're ready, bringing arms to T, looking toward the other side, so the long side. And breathe. Release the hand down the long leg. This one goes up. We are looking up if we can. You're going to have one side a little tighter than the other. So for this side, it's hard for me to look up. So I'm going to look toward the top of the wall rather than straight up. Make it your pose. Release, finding that T arms, and then dropping the side. And lean. Once again, if you can look up, that's great. I can look to the top of the wall. That's about it for me. Coming to T. And dropping down over that front knee. Oh, yes, let the back relax. Let the head, neck, and shoulders relax. And then coming up, forearm on the leg, if you like, maybe right here, and circle. And reverse. And coming up. Bringing the body back to the chair. 
Inhaling all the way up. And exhale to the heart center. Widening the legs and placing the elbows on the right above the knees. We're looking at the floor, holding our prayer center. And if you like, you can take the elbows to the insides of the knees and press apart just a little bit more. So this would be comparable to garland pose, or the pose I like to call gargoyle pose. Dropping the hands. And if you can, you are folding in half. Let gravity have your hair. And breathe, just relaxing right here. And of course, you all know your bodies. If that's not um, comfortable to go all the way down, then come halfway. This is your workout. When you're ready, rolling it up. Finding shoulder rolls. Inhaling, then bringing the hands to the heart center. When you're ready, we are move. I am moving my chair to halfway down the mat. <clears throat> and I'm bringing uh, my outside leg to the chair. So my knee comes in. We are doing a mock pigeon pose. So um, your heel is going to move toward the other leg a little bit and, and you figure out what that feels like to you. So I'm going to do the other leg first so you can see where my foot is. So I'm stretching back and you can do it just like me if you like if you want to do a leg toward the back of the chair. That's fine. But this foot, if you can, you can bring it up a little bit. That is about my limit right there. Um, I can feel it in my hip, I can feel it in my inner thigh, and in my hamstring and glute. The other foot is stretched back and you can let it relax a little bit if you like. This is pigeon pose, bringing the fingertips up if that feels okay, hanging on if you need to, and breathe. Now, of course, if this isn't comfortable, then you're going to bring that heel in a little closer to the midline of the body. Now, if you like, twist toward the chair. This is a very light twist. And then twisting the other direction. And if you like, you can do prayer center. And coming to neutral, coming off your chair, and into a plank. So my shoulders are over my wrists, and my heels are pushed back. Breathe. When you're ready, down dog. So pushing back into the glutes. Don't let your chair slip. And the chest stretches toward the floor. My knees are a little bit soft. Releasing the pose. And we will do the other side. When you're ready, bring the knee on. Whichever knee you like, stretch the other foot back. And this side doesn't feel as good as the other side. Always something different. So this foot's going to stay a little more toward the center of my body. Bringing the fingertips up if you like. And always adjusting. If we're in a pose and we're there too long, always adjust for you. And breathe. Hands to heart center if you like, making a twist, grabbing the chair if you need a little help with that. And release, moving to the other side for twist. And you can do it however it feels good for you. It doesn't have to be heart center. Oh. 
releasing, coming to the neutral, taking the knee off the chair, and pushing back to a plank. Pushing into the heels, shoulders are over the wrists, our head is in a neutral place. And breathe, holding here for several breaths. And releasing, pushing the glutes back to down dog. Let gravity have your ponytail. Relax, letting the chest fall a little closer to the floor. Soft knees. And when you're ready, walking up just a little bit, rolling it up, shoulder rolls. And reverse. I want to do one more balance pose. So I'm going to turn my chair just a little bit so you can see my arms and my legs on this one. And I have one pink sock on and one blue sock so you know which one is crossed over. So my left is pink, my right is blue. Not that you care. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to chair pose. So I have the chair right behind the glutes just in case I want to touch down a little bit or feel that chair or need a little balance. I'm going to cross my right leg over my left and I can keep a touch down on the floor if I like. We are moving to eagle pose. So I'm going to start this with my toe touch down and then I'm crisscrossing my arms and I'm pushing them up just a little bit. I'm not going to let them hang down here. I'm going to Get active, and then if I want to, I can raise my toe off the floor. This is another focus where you have to find a spot on the floor out in front of your body. Look at which arm is on top and release. Now crossing the other leg, coming into that chair pose, crossing the other leg, leaving the toe down if you need to, Remember which arm was up. Now take the other one on top. Lifting your toe if you dare. Finding your focus. Release the pose. Great job, everybody. Let me check the time. All right, finding yourself in a seated pose. It's time to wrap this up. So bringing the knees together, inhale all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. As far down as you want to go, let gravity have your hair. And rolling it up. Shoulder rolls and reverse. And one arm comes across. You can touch the shoulder if you like, pressing back, or you can make a straight arm. It's almost the same stretch. I prefer this way, but that's just me. Now taking that same elbow, it's going up, and we're pulling back for a tricep stretch. And release, moving to the other side. So same thing, push back, do a straight arm or bent, your choice. And breathe, sitting up nice and tall. You're not laying back in your chair, unless you're on the couch, I guess. Press the elbow up and pull it back, opening the chest a little bit. And release the pose. Bringing the hands to the inner thighs and pull back. So you're just getting a nice little wrist stretch right here. And release, crossing the other way. Hands, grab the thighs and pull back. And release. When you're ready, inhale all the way up. Exhale the hands back. 
grab the back of your chair, open the chest, looking toward the top of the wall. And relax, bringing one hand to the side of the head, maybe touching the ear. We are not pulling, we're just going to lay that down and we're going to take this one out to the side. And drop it down, maybe taking it to the front for relax or taking it around to the back. What stretch do you need? And release, moving to the other side. So the same thing, don't pull, just lay that hand there. Take this one out just a little bit. Feel that for just a second. As I, I feel it like right in here and across my deltoid. And then drop it down. Bringing it to the lap and letting it relax. I'm taking it around back. And release. Inhaling all the way up. And exhaling to the heart center. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely week. Namaste.